needs 25 minutes. We hit 20, they go for the tier 2. Bottom lane, right in front alliance. We'll get a good trade mid. Lundgren, Admiral, Bulldog will be getting this tier 2 tower. Yep. And oh, down to the bottom lane. Viper will catch the Venom Answer. I did miss it as I toggled in the mid lane. Bristleback actually going to grab the tier 2 in the top, so it will be one tower for two. Although it did cost him. Oh god, the phase shift! Oh, the finger of death going to be completely mitigated there. Now Lone Druid going to come in. Nature's Prophet will fall. The Dream Coil comes out. It looks like Viper going to be in some trouble. He's the one with the Aegis, though, so he's going to pop right back up. This is going to be a great hold from Alliance, though. Now Lion looking like he's going to fall. He's going to try to port out, but Lona will be able to finish him off. As Viper comes back, he'll stand his ground. Nowhere to run. And Tango going to come out right away. And that's going to be a beautiful hold from Alliance. It ends up being a two for five exchange. And as I mentioned before that, they cleared the tier two tower in top and mid in exchange for just their tier two down here in the bottom. They've got a zip from S4. Bulldog's at the ready as well. Will they jump? The Roche is low. In they go. It's too oh! late. It's set. It's not too late after all the radiant gets the last hit, but the Aegis goes the way of Alliance. It's trouble right now as Dendi pops in the pit. My back, there is none on the Shadow Fiend. It is go go time because you got the Aegis. Gustav Magnuson, S4, Stockholm, Sweden. One more game, two million dollars on the table. Winner, first place at the International, the Aegis, and the prestige of being the best Dota 2 team in the world. The loser, second place, and only 600,000. It's game five of a best of five, Alliance versus Navi. Two million dollars at stake. There's no more games to fall back on. There's no more second chances. You win or you finish second. What a player! What a freaking player! But Dendi's on the run. He's not giving up that easy. Going for the mid rex dropping it fast. Alliance, no sign of wanting to defend. S4 is here. Ake, base out of stun. Navi, not finishing the Rex yet, but they've lifted S4. He just fought back. If he dies, that could be game. Blinks away. They take the Rex. All TP. TP quick right now. S4 is going to try to cancel as many as possible. Yo, cancel three. My god. Bunnik's going to try to TP, but he's going to defend against everybody. Meanwhile, Lona working on the melee Rex on the bot. Reality Rift. Oh, Bunnik, you are getting Oh, or he's going to get back up with a Rax in huge trouble. He won't defend. Alliance out maneuvering Navi. I've almost taken My Rax. two more. Yeah, they can't push. They can't push. They can't push. Oh, he cancels the B. He cancels the B. Fuck me. He's not gonna be back in the base. He's got base. DKB, but no boots of travel. Boy, a lot of Oh, there's a Fendi's TP as well. Now they are huge trouble. Front. Now if they go over the throne, they could be game. Funnix down. Alliance are doing it. They need a little more. The most of all. So, in jeopardy. There's a glimpse. It could be their last stand. Fendi's back. He's gonna try to focus on Funnix, but there's so much stuff. Heading on the there's throne. No there's time. no more clips available. Down to a half HP, a quarter HP, Alliance surrounding. 
Everyone in the coil, in the silence, in the orb, and in the Prophet Ultimate. They couldn't wish for a better fight. And he even makes it. That. You. Uh, S4? Yeah, uh, <laughs> hello? <laughs> Does Sidra know? Does anybody know? Night Stalker might. If it were nighttime. But now it's daytime, there's no way he'll know. Oh my. And the blink, oh, S4, he's still gonna get inside the base to damage! <gasps> wait, wait, really calculated? Was that actually calculated? Was that totally calculated? He didn't have another choice. Uh, that was bold. <laughs> it's very bold. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this may be even a big win for now, with that fight the bottom lane. The fact that they've had enough pressure on the motor, so they have that now open wounds. Malibu Sun is funny, the Sun Strike's going back here, and then your black hole out from Bulldog. He TPs into the middle of the vortex, and then he great coils. Huge hit from S4, holding all of Navi there. A Morse will go down, Koro taking the stun, Puppy as well. There's a double kill for Arcade, okay, Sun was such enough to Koro, all in one second time, and then Koro will be pushing up the daisy with the rest of his team. Advantage swings. Very <laughs> fast. Jesus. I'm coming. You can turn on me. Uh, it's one, it's one. Yeah, back uh, uh, Oh! Move! I'm searching you! Go kill him, you cut! Oh! Defense their T1 tower on bottom lane, they are going to trigger off the fortification. 
And then a Moonlight Shadow, who are they looking for? It's actually the get on the top lane, up easy out there. But s hit the blind of Hook Shot. He had a small bit of time to see him. So the Illuminate, the Sentry Warp, it does the work. We plan them and the Ops Warp. That Sentry is just out of range of the Radiant Sentry. Arrow will fly between the middle of OG. The Observer Warp will be taken out. Universe, oh, the Spike Everett, the Hook Shot! s in, disruption came from Crit. But it didn't do enough in time. S4 does get stunned up, but no tell. Resets up the fight with the Song of the Siren. Zai is just out of range of it. And that allows Ana to pick him up without cutting off the Song of the Siren. Now it's the man into the tree. Picked up by Jirai. Crawled back into the middle of the OG sandwich. And more heroes down. Yeah, they decided that Luna had to fight back on Anna. Playing stun, Fred, goodbye. 45 seconds on the sideline. Samal jumps in, maybe with a stun, but no clockwork! It's a huge clock and they just got GG one played. It was a slow bleed on the blue. Over. They get the dust early out, so S4, if he feels confident, he can move in. Roshan's very low, wait for those illusions to oh. hit S4, jumps in, oh. he snaps, yeah, he gets, oh. he managed to take it. They're gonna catch Skylark too, as he goes for the lasso, but S4 teams up now with Anna, covering down the Shadow Demon, and lasso stolen by T-Rex, this man, God, it does not actually describe him enough. He grabbed the juggernaut.